Hi guys, I am Roma and this is the Nightcore Blower Baby electronic camera duster. It has a powerful 26,000 RPM motor that's blowing air at 43.5 miles per hour. You can use it to easily clean your camera, camera sensor, camera filters, computer keyboards or any other electronics. Before we're going to dive into the features of this little duster, a quick disclaimer, Nightcore did send me this for a review, but this video is not sponsored. In the box you will find the Blower Baby itself and the USB-C to USB-A charging cable. Additionally, you can purchase extra accessories from Nightcore, the camera CMOS filter for $8 which offers more filter density compared to the original filter. This dense filter is specifically designed for delicate places like your camera sensor but once applied it does reduce the blowing air speed from 43.5 miles per hour down to 31.1 miles per hour and for 20 bucks you can buy the camera cleaning pen which offers you a magnetic cleaning tip and also additional cleaning brushes to attach to the blower baby. The build quality of the blower baby is fantastic. It is built out of aerospace grade aluminum, at least according to Nightcore, which feels really premium and really solid. And also it is fairly light and compact, as you can see here compared to a normal manual air duster. When it comes to buttons and ports, we have a single USB-C port to charge the built-in 1500 mAh battery and just one button to check the battery life and also power on off the blower baby itself. All of this is great, but how does the blower baby actually work and is it worth buying over something like this, a normal manual air dust that you can buy for like three or five dollars? Well, let me show you. Here I have the blower baby and also the additional accessories from Nightcore, my camera. Let's start with the cleaning. Pro tip, if you're going to double tap the power button, it's gonna start blowing air without you having to hold the power button. One thing that I noticed right away about this blower baby is how much louder it gets compared to a normal air duster. Let me now clean my camera with a normal air duster and I'm going to try to share with you how it feels compared to the blower baby. So it is quieter, definitely. And also it is not as powerful. Seems like the blower baby is at least two times as strong as the normal air duster. Now let me attach the camera CMOS filter and let's clean the camera sensor. Looks good enough to me. If you want to go a bit more in depth when it comes to cleaning the sensor, you can purchase this kit from Nightcore. This is the full frame sensor cleaning kit. It comes with a uh, sensor cleaning fluid and also swabs, but it is also available for APS-C sensors. Links of course would be down below in the description. Now let me clean the lens with the magnetic cleaning tip. Just like so. Looks really clean to me. And also, if you want to go a bit more in depth with the lens cleaning, you can purchase this lens cleaning kit from Nightcore. Comes with cleaning cloths and also lens cleaning fluid. Let's try now these brushes from the camera cleaning pen. I'm gonna start with the purple one. Wow, this thing makes a big difference because it is much easier now to reach those tight spaces on the camera like between the button and the body or this place here or even the cold shoe or even the corners of the screen of this part of the camera body. Let's try now the second brush. This is the lens cleaning brush. All right, I think I am done. I mean, my camera and lens are already pretty clean, so there wasn't too much hard work. So the final question is, is it worth buying the blower baby over something like a manual 
old school air duster. And my answer to you is it depends. The blower baby is more powerful, at least compared to my air duster. So it's gonna be easier to use to clean your camera and lenses. It's also more convenient to use. You just press one button, start cleaning your stuff. Whereas with this, you have to constantly do this to blow air out, but you do need to charge it. It is more expensive. It is louder and also it is heavier and bulkier, especially if you have all the extra brushes and the camera CMOS filter. If you are someone who has lots of camera equipment and lens and stuff to clean on a consistent basis, I would definitely invest into something like this. This is probably the best tool on the market to clean your camera and camera lenses. But if you're someone who doesn't have that much equipment or maybe you mainly shoot indoors so your camera don't get as dusty, maybe save yourself the cash and just buy a plain old school manual air duster. Thanks for watching.